Hi guys, I'm EVM and welcome back. Do you own or are thinking of owning an electric car? Do you, like myself, do the vast majority of charging at home? And ultimately, do you want to save money? Maybe hundreds of pounds a year. If the answer is yes to those, then keep watching. If the answer is no, I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to click like and subscribe. Now, let me explain exactly what I mean by this. The house effectively is the EV equivalent of a petrol station. So the tariff that you're on for your electricity at home almost completely dictates how much your EV will cost you in fuel. So ultimately, it's key to get the best electricity tariff out there. With petrol, it's quite straightforward. You just pay pence per litre and find whoever is selling it at the cheapest rate. It's as simple as that. But with new tariffs out now, especially around smart meters, it's slightly more complicated because there are time of day tariffs now which basically make it a lot better for the electric car owner. I'll explain why, what and where later on in the video. But first, I'm going to show you what I did to calculate who was the cheapest for myself. I promise you, it's very quick, it's not difficult, you can play along and it's not boring. All right, it's boring, but ultimately it could end up saving you a ton of money. Now, at the moment, my electricity tariff with Green Energy UK has completely stopped. They aren't raising the prices or anything like that. They are just stopping their time of day tariff, I think due to smart meter screw ups. So I've been put onto their next best flat rate tariff and basically it's made me need to move because it's going up quite a lot. So I've done the usual thing, which let's face it, you should be doing every year yourself, and that's look around the market, see who's the cheapest, and well, basically I've done this for you. If you want, do the calculations with me, as I said before, but if not, just use whoever I recommend, and you'll probably at least save some money, if not a lot of money. So the three companies I'm going to compare against are my current provider, Green Energy UK, of course. I suggest you do the same for whoever your current provider is. The other two are Bulb and Octopus. All we need to know and figure out now is how much you use per month in electricity terms. So how many kilowatt hours of electricity do you use? It's very straightforward. Look over your previous bills. If you got the last year's usage, just divide by 12. Whatever, just guesstimate the average amount of electricity usage per month. Mine currently sits at 787 kilowatt hours per month. Now, of course, I have an electric car. I use a lot, we do a lot of miles, so my electricity usage is a lot higher than the average UK household. We just now need to see how much each company charges. So Green Energy UK, for example, they are now putting me on a flat rate tariff which costs 16.27 pence per kilowatt hour and they have a standing charge of 29.7 pence per day. So all I have to do is 787 times the kilowatt hour rate and then 31 times the standing charge rate. That's what I'll be doing for all three. Although the Octopus one is more complicated and ultimately the one I will be suggesting you go for. The reason for this is because it's a time of day tariff. Now, I will say at this stage, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not even sure they even know I'm doing it. But basically, the one way you can help me out, because I've never asked for any help on this channel before financially, is if you do decide to go with Octopus by the end of this video and you genuinely think it will save you money, there is a referral link in the description below that basically will earn me £50 by you using it and it will earn you £50 by using it. So we both benefit. It's not much to ask for if you end up saving a lot of money by watching this video. So use the referral link below if this is of any use to you. Right, let's get on with this now. Basically, as I said before, 787 times the kilowatt hour rate and the standing charge. So if you add them together, we get £128.05 pence in electricity usage and £9.21 in a standing charge for a 31 day month. Add them together and we get an average monthly uh, price of uh, £137.26. So that's with Green Energy UK, my current provider who, uh, who shoved me on this tariff because I said their brilliant time of day tariff has ended. So that's what we're looking at, that's the baseline comparison. Now let's basically do the same calculations briefly for Bulb. 787, they charge 
0.23 pence and 20.44 standing charge. Add it all together and we end up with 110 pounds 46 P. So already I'm a fair bit better off moving to bulb than green energy. Now bulb is quite straightforward. They literally have one tariff. So it is really easy to figure out. Well, actually that's strictly not true. They have two tariffs. They have a, a, an economy seven tariff as well. I cannot get that, which is why ultimately there's no point in me you know, looking into it. However, no doubt someone will ask and using the calculations I will be showing you just in a second for Octopus, if I went with Bulb Economy Economy 7, sorry, if it was available, uh, that would have cost me £93.57. So already we've got big savings now. That's not available for me, so we might as well go back. But if it is for you, then it might be worth looking into. However, I still believe that the Octopus Go tariff, which we're about to look at, hopefully they'll be the cheapest. Now, it's a bit more complicated than uh, the other two because it's not just 787 times a single tariff rate because there are two different tariff rates with Octopus. They have uh, effectively an on-peak and an off-peak. One is more expensive than the other, of course. The off-peak time is between half past midnight and half past 4 a.m. So you've got four hours out of the 24 each day at this cheap period. So the hard bit is to figure out how much you will end up using during that off-peak period. It's extremely easy to make your car charge during the off-peak time. So if you do a lot of charging as I do, then you can shove all that straight into this off-peak period with no hassle at all. I'll show you how very quickly later on in the video, but basically well over half of my electricity usage is my car. So shoving that into the cheap period is very beneficial and is key to this entire video. Now, as I've been on a time of day tariff for the past uh, 18 months or so, I already know my usage. The habit for you is to figure out how much you will be able to use during the off-peak time. So ultimately, almost everything your car charges should be able to be shoved into this off-peak period. So that's something you need to figure out. My timing works out as follows. I have erred on the side of caution of this and, and reduced my off-peak usage just to be on the safe side. But basically, I use 387 kilowatt hours on average per month during the day, the peak rate, the, the highest tariff, and 400 kilowatt hours during the off-peak time. So as you can see, a lot of my usage, more, most of my usage is when it's at the cheapest rate. Now, those rates are 13.31 pence during the on-peak period and just five pence during the off-peak period. So you can see where we're going here. So basically, it's just 400 times five pence and 387 times 13.31. Uh, add all that together, including the standing charge, and we get to 51 pound 51 for the on-peak period, 20 pounds for the off-peak period. So more than half of my usage is costing me less than half in, in money terms, which is why it makes sense for an EV driver. Uh, oh, excuse me. So if you add all that together, again with a standing charge, £79.26 per month. That's a big difference. So I think the best thing we could do right now is to put all three prices next to one another. There we go. So Octopus Go, in fact, I'll say them last. En Green Energy, £137. Bulb, 110 And Octopus Go, £79. That's a big, big difference, all for the sake of moving my energy usage to that off-peak period. Just the car, nothing in the house. I have, I'm not setting the washing machine so on the timer so it, so it charges during the off-peak period. It's literally just moving the car charging to that period. So what is that per year? Right, so we've got 1,647 with green energy. Remember, this is just electricity usage. 1,325 with bulb and 951 with the Octopus Go tariff. That's a big difference, that's huge. Wow, I didn't realize it'd be so much. In fact, what is the difference? <laughs> Nearly 700 pounds a year compared to the tariff that Green Energy shoved me onto. Bulb, who again are very popular in the EV community, still 374 pounds cheaper. So, you can see why this makes sense. Moving that uh, energy into the off-peak period makes it so much cheaper, and as it's so easy to do, for me it's a no-brainer. Why would you not want to do this? You're getting the same product for a lot less price. <sighs> That's a better return than solar panels. In fact, if, I, if you could keep that up, <laughs> that, that rate of savings per year, and use some man maths, 
you've basically paid for solar panels in about what six years seven years of, of electricity savings why people don't spend half an hour even an hour a year figuring out who the cheapest is for them is beyond me it really baffles me it's just the ultimate of laziness if someone paid you for an hour's work 700 pounds i think you'd do it <laughs> alice We'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> Thank you. Now I should point out that I haven't compared gas in all these. It's mainly due to not wanting to extend the video too much and to not make it too complicated. I have compared the gas and it's still significantly cheaper to go with Octopus. Um, in fact, they're very similar all around. So, but of course you have to factor in gas if you are a dual fuel person. Now, not everyone can get every tariff around the UK. Not everyone is dual fuel. I'm not sure if you need to be dual fuel for Octopus actually, but you, know, you can find out. Uh, but, but you know, tell me whether this works for you. Put it in the comments below whether or not it makes sense. Do your own calculations. Go off what I've used here and, and, and I'd love to know if it, if it makes sense. It's not just me because a lot of people in the EV community have done the exact same thing. You go up to charging timer there and you can see that I've already obviously had mine set for a while. It starts at 10 past 11 uh, p.m. in this case and goes to 8. If I want to edit the schedule, it's literally as simple as adjusting that and then picking which days you want it to follow that particular schedule on. If, however, you want to override the schedule, so for example, if you get home from work and you do want it to charge at the peak time, for example, you just press that button there and that will override the schedule. Or if you're not near the car, you can do the same function over the Nissan Connect app. Now, of course, this is reliant on smart meters, which a lot of people absolutely hate. Now, I don't hate them at all. I love smart meters. I think the concept of them is brilliant. They work, well, the idea of them works perfectly and they do genuinely save you money, as I've proven here. However, the problem is how it's been rolled out. All the generation one crap, all the, uh, the waste of money. The, it's been a total waste of money and time for everyone involved. That I have a problem with. That is the biggest issue but the concept of a smart meter is a very good one. And the Octopus uh, Go tariffs, although you may have to wait one, two, three months after signing up to get it, uh, and who knows where the future will lie, they are the SMETs to generation two meters. They are the ones that are worth waiting for. They're starting to roll them out. And at the moment, they're the only ones doing that using this time of day tariff. That's why I'm ultimately recommending them. That's why I have already changed to them and why I have the referral link below. 50 quid each. Right, so that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. If you want to save, well, who knows how much. Let me know if you're on a cheaper tariff than this already. Please do in the comments because I'd be quite interested to do that. But just for electricity, in the comments below, tell me how much you would have, well, it would cost you on your current tariff based on 787 kilowatt hours. Use the figures that I've given you and tell me how much that would have cost you in the whole year. So for me, it's 951 with Octopus. How much over the year would it have cost you on the tariff you're on using my electricity usage? Um, and, and ultimately, if it saves you money, why not switch? I literally signed up online, two emails later, and about two weeks, I think, it was done. It's, it's, it's very straightforward. And that's the same for changing between anyone. Um, they've got very good uh, customer service ratings on which and all that sort of things. They've been around for quite some time. And I think they're full of techie geeks, which is a good thing. Uh, green energy, I should say, for the past two years have been brilliant. But the tariff that was brilliant has completely gotten it stopped. So ultimately, I had to move. I'm not saying don't go for bulb either. I'm, they're meant to be very good. But ultimately, for me, as a Yorkshireman, it's all about the money. Oh, and if it bothers you, all three of these tariffs are 100% renewable and green. If that's your thing, if, if you really want that, all three of these are a great option. 
I suggest everybody does the old U switch compare comparison thingy. Um, but for me, what U switch and Go Compare and all them don't do very well is compare against tariffs like this. It's too complicated for it to figure out. Yes, you can give them economy seven readings or whatnot, but ultimately, if, when I did my U switch comparison, this didn't come up as an option. This is why I'm saying do your own figures. It makes a lot of sense and can save you a ton of money. Okay, so we're pretty much done. That's it. Not the most exciting video, but saving money is a good thing. And uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments below whether it makes sense to you. Don't forget the referral link. We'll get 50 quid each. I've, uh, I think I've mentioned that once or twice. Uh, and as usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.